Fish farming generates about 20% of the world's fish production. Some fish farms are very high-tech, while others use more traditional methods. Fish farming began in 2000 BC. If these rainbow trout are going to have the energy to make baby trout, they'll have to be well fed. On today's menu, brown shrimp. The fish farmer gives the mating process a hand. He takes the female fish and presses on her belly to squeeze out her eggs. A one pound fish has about 1,000 eggs. It takes about a minute to get them out. Next, he takes the male fish and squeezes out his sperm. This also takes about a minute. The fertilization process is pretty low tech. No microscopes, no test tubes. The farmer mixes the eggs and sperm by hand. He then rinses the eggs with clean water. He repeats this step seven or eight times until the water runs clear. The eggs that stay at the surface are duds, so they're discarded. The farmer transfers the good eggs to bottles, then fills the bottles to the top with water. The eggs incubate for about a month. By the 25-day mark, if an egg is alive, two little black dots appear. Fish eyes. After the incubation period, the farmer empties the bottles and spreads the eggs on a surface with slats. The eggs lie here underwater. until they hatch 10 to 15 days later. The newly hatched trout swim down through the slats into the basin below. The baby trout feed off their placenta for the first 18 days. After that, they eat special trout food made of fish meal. The trout grow to about 8 inches long by the age of 8 months. At that point, the smaller trout swimming around them start looking pretty appetizing. So the farmer has to classify the fish by size and move them into separate basins. Trout reach adulthood at the age of a year and a half. Now the farmer transfers them into his man-made lake. From here, the fish will go to market. But before they leave, the farmer mates them starting the cycle all over again.